Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. My name is Dan Valamont, two-time Division I All-American at Penn State University. Ranked top 20 in the world internationally and fifth in the 2016 United States Olympic Trials for wrestling. Training is one of those things that you will be exposed if you're not training, you're not constantly improving yourself. And because somebody is training and somebody is going to prepare and they are going to be able to beat you. And it's one thing to get beaten um, because you tried really hard and you did everything right and you can live with that. It's another thing to completely fail to prepare. That's something that I couldn't live with. That's something that would really bother me is when you didn't control what you can control. So a loss in wrestling is what I would call just like a hopeless and helpless feeling where you feel that you did everything you possibly could do to prepare and you still don't win. It can really take a toll on you if you allow it to. But just sitting there and sulking on it, um, as tempting as it is, um, isn't going to help you move forward at all. I'm getting close to the end of my career here. I would say, in all fairness, the odds are stacked against me as far as winning an Olympic title. If I win or lose, if I make the Olympic team, if I don't, if I win an Olympic medal, if I don't, I can put my head on my pillow at night and go to sleep without any issues because my goal, my purpose in life, my ultimate purpose in life isn't to win a gold medal isn't to make the Olympic team. I've come to realize that that's not gonna fulfill me, that's not gonna give me that full purpose that I need. Not having any regrets and knowing that I used my gift, my talent, my ability to the absolute best to honor and glorify a God who gave that to me, that is my goal, that's my whole point in this and that's the only thing that's gonna fulfill me in this, in this uh, journey of athletics um, is, is putting it all back on God and pointing it back to Him. There's so much more important things um, in this life and that relationship with Christ is one of them. And um, just realizing that has been one of the most freeing things. God has given me this to use it. I'm not gonna go and bury my talent in the sand. I'm gonna go out and use it and, and take every chance that I can and be thankful for every chance that I've been given as well.